Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to remove rows that include blank values in Power BI. There are two transformations in Power Query. You can use remove empty and remove blank rows. Uh, let's talk about what, are, what is their difference and how you can use it. When you want to remove blank rows, one of the options is to go to home tab into transform data option, which will bring you to the Power Query editor. In the Power Query editor, uh, there are mm, multiple ways to remove rows with blank values. First way is to select a column that you have blank values in it, and uh, then click on this drop down on the column and then you can choose uh, remove empty this will remove any row with empty cell within that row only which means in this case the last row which is empty in that cell and all other cells but also the very first row which is empty in the uh, in that column but not in all other columns for example you see column one has a value so if I click here and say remove empty, both of these rows, rows will be removed. Uh, it only considers the column selection. So remove empty on this column would be different from remove empty on that column. The other option is remove rows and remove blank rows. Under remove rows, there's a remove blank rows option. This option will not consider what column you have selected. So it doesn't matter which column you selected. This will only remove the row if all the cells, means all the columns within that row, their value is blank. Otherwise, it will not remove it. So if I say remove rows, remove blank rows, in this case, the last row would be removed, but the first row will be still there because there is a value which is not blank. Depends on your requirement, you might choose one of these options. There are some transformations that is dependent on the column you select, column dependent transformations, such as remove empty, such as um, replace values, replace errors and things like that. Some transformations that doesn't really matter which column you select, such as remove top rows, bottom rows, alternate rows, or keep rows, keep top rows, uh, bottom or alternate rows there are some transformations that depends on where you apply it it can be column dependent or uh, for the whole table for example if i select a column and say remove duplicate or remove errors that happens on the column but if i select the table and say remove dupl uh, duplicate or remove errors and keep them also that applies on a table uh, all of these transformations are correct. It's just a matter of knowing which one uh, would be fit for your requirement so that you can apply it. Um, I hope you like this video and this helps you in your Power BI and Power Query implementation. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Mm -hmm.